Hi, my name is Christine. I'm a physical therapist with SSM Physical Therapy. We are here today to, to provide you with some short clips of recommended exercises for individuals with hereditary spastic paraplegia and primary lateral sclerosis. As always, you should consult your physician or physical therapist to identify your personal needs and adjustments. When spasticity is present, it's very important to perform your stretching slowly. If you go into the position too quickly, it can increase your spasticity, causing the stretch to be ineffective. These stretches are going to include a lying down hamstring stretch, a lying down and standing calf stretch, and a standing hip flexor stretch. This is Mary. She is 56, 56 and has SPG7. She is demonstrating a sitting hamstring stretch. Sit with your leg extended and slowly lean the trunk forward until a gentle stretch is felt. It's important to move slowly as to not induce spasticity. This is Tina. She is 55 and has SPG7. She is demonstrating a lying down hamstring stretch. Using a strap, keep the knee straight and slowly pull the leg up until a gentle stretch is felt. Again, moving slowly to avoid spasticity. This is Tina demonstrating a sitting or lying down calf stretch. With the strap around the toe area, slowly pull the toes upward towards your body until a gentle stretch is felt, remembering to perform slowly. This is Mary demonstrating a standing calf stretch. With a wide stagger stance, slowly shift your weight forward, leaning until a gentle stretch is felt in the calf, keeping the heel on the floor. The stretch may be performed with the knee bent or with the knee straight. Please hold on for safety. This is Tina demonstrating a piriformis stretch. Sitting, cross one leg over the other and slowly lean forward until a stretch is felt in the buttocks. This is Mary demonstrating the same stretch, but with less flexibility. I hope you found these demonstrations and instructions helpful. Remember to always think of safety first, increase slowly, and keep records of your progress. And again, make sure you consult your healthcare provider before beginning any program.